Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a really exciting development. The European Union has launched its very own Linux distribution called EUOS. This initiative is all about digital sovereignty, reducing reliance on external vendors and building a secure, independent digital ecosystem for both public and private sectors across the EU. So what exactly is EUOS? Well, it's not an entirely new operating system, but rather a Linux distribution built on a Fedora foundation, featuring the KDE Plasma desktop environment. Its design takes inspiration from previous Linux projects like France's Genbuntu and Munich's Linux, both aimed at standardizing a Linux platform for public sector use. With over 250 Linux distributions out there, the key advantage of EUOS lies in its focus on standardization and flexibility. It offers a shared Linux foundation that can be fine-tuned to meet the unique needs of national, regional, sector-specific, or even organizational use. The driving force behind EUOS is the principle of public money, public code. This means that by investing in an open license-free system, the EU aims to significantly reduce costs, free organizations from vendor lock-in, and simplify the planning of software migrations and hardware upgrades. Essentially, EU OS provides the flexibility to adopt new technologies without being tied down by expensive licensing fees or restrictive vendor agreements. Interestingly, while some might wonder why the project was built on Fedora instead of, say, OpenSUSE or KDE's upcoming distro, both backed by Europe-based organizations, the decision underscores a commitment to creating a robust, standardized platform. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think EU OS can disrupt Windows hold in the European Union? And could a collaboration with more regional players have made this initiative even stronger? Drop your comments below and let's get the conversation started. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more updates on the latest tech developments. See you next time.